Hey guys, welcome to the Ice Gauntlet Blunderbuss updated guide uh, for my claw shot reset build. Uh, this is the build I've been using pretty much since the beginning. Uh, I'm not a fan of net shot, um, but there are good things about net shot. Um, to kind of just throw it out there right now, the difference in gameplay between net shot and or claw shot, claw shot's a lot more aggressive and you can do the claw reset combo and net shot's a lot safer, but it's also better for team play, okay? I'm gonna go through my gears and stuff like that. I went through my gear last time. My gear is pretty much all resilient, refreshing, with an extra perk, as you can see. Uh, if you're using claw shot, use venturing claw shot. If you're using net shot, swap it out with exhausted net shot, okay? Um, this is the only one that needs to get updated. Uh, I need to do resilient, refreshing with leeching shrapnel blast. Uh, or freedom or whatever uh, shirking energy is not as good as it used to be so I'm gonna swap this out soon plague splitting grenades is a given why you want that perk on there uh, leeching shrapnel blast is just for more health like more survivability I guess I have a health thrust protection and a stamina recovery amulet uh, thrust protection because I get pelted with muskets and bows 24 7 uh, when I'm in war so it's extremely important that I have thrust protection uh, thrust damage, hardy burning, burning for the plague splitting grenades, burn damage, thrust damage because of the blunderbuss. Refreshing, refreshing toast, purifying toast. Uh, refreshing, refreshing toast are pretty explanatory or self-explanatory. Purifying toast I think is really good. Uh, Keen Vicious Unending Thought is my ice gauntlet right now. Uh, do I think it's the absolute best? No, I think the best is Keen Frost Attunement and Unending Thought. Don't quote me on it, but you don't really need... Uh, unending thaw on clothing anymore because once you swap off of the gauntlet it doesn't matter it doesn't carry on the damage anyway <clears throat> and then the best in slot uh blunderbuss is this blunderbuss flame attunement enchanted keenly empowered every single one of my gears have the uh rune glass ignited on it okay and that makes this blunderbuss the absolute best blunderbuss that you can have uh, people have been asking me about fire damage rings. Fire damage is probably going to be better than thrust damage. I haven't fully tested it, but fire damage, regardless, is still going to be good if you have a flame attunement enchanted keenly empowered blunderbuss. Uh, <clears throat> to answer the question now, I still use a tier 2 ruby because when you are higher int than you are strength, uh, the tier 2 will do more damage than the tier 5. It's been like this since the beginning of the game. I don't know why AGS hasn't fixed that, but that's just how it is, okay? Um, heart gem slot. I don't have it. Um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't. You should absolutely have this. It is really useful. Uh, the three that I've been told is the stone form, the cannon for the extra burst, and then the, the vines for setup, okay? Those are all really good that I've been told are good from people who have been playing since I've been gone for the three month hiatus. Attributes, normally it's 115 strength, 300 int, 100 con. This is how this is how I've been really running it for a while. Uh, and especially since I came back, I just want more damage. If you wanna be more strength reliant because you wanna use a rune glass ignited tier five ruby or anything, uh, it would be 265 strength, 150 int, and 100 con. 100 con is way too strong for you not to run it. Some people run 5 con or 50 con, which more power to you if you want to do that. But I'm telling you guys right now, 100 con makes it way worth it. I promise. Weapon masteries. This is for the claw reset build. Like I said, uh, it can one tap mediums, you know, and that's what a lot of players are playing at the moment are medium because. Uh, there are a lot of Godsword, or Greatsword, <laughs> Godsword, there's a lot of Greatsword players out there currently, okay? Uh, so this is pretty much what I've been using since the beginning of time, though, realistically. Um, if you don't want to run Claw Shot and you are a newer Blunderbuss player, you can run Net Shot, um, which then you may not even need to take Unload. You could take Double Down. I can see why you would take Double Down over Unload, and that's fine, which then you would use Net Shot all the way down to Apparatus, and then you would make sure that you take this last chance for sure. Last chance will help you survive. It'll keep you alive and everything. 
Ice Gauntlet. This is what I've been using. Take a quick peek at this. I'm not going to keep on this very long, simply because I don't know why I use it. I have been using it, and it's been working for me. Simple as that, okay? <clears throat> now, you know, there's a few questions that people were asking. Uh, the first question was, is this build war, like, playable? Could you play it in wars? Absolutely. Now, if you're not known in your server, and Dex and, your he and the healers are not going to run away from you, or Dex not going to focus you, 100% you can get away with this build. You can one-tap literally any healer that's standing still, paying more attention to the point. Um, but I will say, like me personally, because I am known in my server, it is really hard for me to uh, play it right now. So I'm going to be going towards more team play, which that means that I'm going to be completely swapping off of Claw Shot, and I will be using that shot for wars. Um, I do suggest everyone that is new, like I said, to use that shot over Claw Shot, though. Okay. Um, people are asking about Flame Attunement and uh, Frost Attunement, why people are using Flame Attunement and why people are still using Frost Attunement. Uh, they probably just bought Best in Slot um, Blunderbuss pre Brimstone Patch because pre Brimstone Patch you would use a Tier 2 Aquamarine uh, because Frosted Areas you would get more damage. Uh, so that's the main reason why they would have Frost Attunement. Flame Attunement now is the best because that is not the case anymore with the Frosted Areas and doing more damage with the Aquamarine. Uh, and then the Rune Blast Ignited, you know, 10% more fire damage is extremely good, truthfully. Um, <clears throat> and then the last question that the people were asking, what is pretty much what I consider like the best in slot um, blunderbuss. So when it comes to blunderbuss, guys, literally all you need is keenly empowered and enchanted. That's all you need. You don't need anything more. Anything on top of it is, you know, a plus. But flame attunement on top of all that would make it the absolute best. Um, if you guys ever have any questions about blunderbuss, anything, I normally answer them like really quickly and all the time on my videos. Uh, so I would just suggest you know commenting down below. Um, but I do have a question for you guys. What kind of content do you guys want to see? You know, uh, I do love my build. Don't get me wrong. Ice Gauntlet Blunderbuss is a lot of fun for me to play. Um, but truth be told, it's getting it's getting really stale for content. You guys see the same exact thing. I'm just two tapping everyone every single you know uh, every single video. And I want to bring you know this channel to being one of the more like content related that you can find for Blunderbuss players in general. Um, I can literally pay play any weapon with blunderbuss and do well right i did the double gunner i did the rapier blunderbuss you know i've done spear blunderbuss um, i've done great sword blunderbuss i've done void gauntlet blunderbuss fire stuff i've done all of it so if there's a build that you guys in particular want me to play uh to sh just show that it can be done uh, please leave it below or if you guys want more in-depth guides or all that stuff just leave a comment below and last but not least thank you guys so much for staying faithful and loyal uh, to my channel and still watching my videos even though i went on a long three month hiatus um i will say i am back full time now and i will be making a lot more videos to grow this channel like i said to being one of the more uh blunderbuss friendly channels i'm gonna let some clips play uh but yeah thank you guys so much you guys have a great one